fix, you need to know about running large language models using a Llama on a Linux server in cloud. Uh, you can download, install, and start a Llama on Linux with just one command. You do curl to pull this link uh, with a script, and then you pipe it into shell command to run it, and it will do the trick. The problem with this is that it will install models on the system drive in this directory. Our Ubuntu Linux server is on Azure Cloud, and the system drive is only 29 gigabytes, and it's already half full. And as soon as you start downloading models from Alamo website, they're all uh, multiple gigabytes in size, so you will run uh, out of memory. So how to configure Alamo to use a different location? Uh, suppose I have a four terabyte drive mounted as data, I created a directory slash data slash Alama models, and we need to make a configuration to keep models under this directory. Well, this can be done using environmental variable Alama underscore models and define it as slash data slash Alama models. And it works if I'm starting Alama serve manually from the prompt, it works. But uh, this is like for manual start. Uh, if I tried to use system control, it will not work. And I tried multiple ways and did a lot of research, spent hours on this. And you can read some discussions in these links on GitHub in Alama uh, repository and uh, also some other places. The point is it looks like it's a bug and you cannot make it work. Uh, but there is a workaround. You can create a mount which mounts this directory, uh, user share alama dot alama models uh, into the directory on the other drive. So you do sudo mount minus minus bind uh, slash data slash alama models and then user share alama dot alama models. Note that the minus minus bind, it's important. Uh, without it, it doesn't work. So to make things happen, uh, well, first uh, you copy everything into the directory uh, data Alama models. Uh, you see the listing, it contains the directory with blobs. This will be the big directory with all the actual models with gigabytes of data. You have uh, keys, um, private and, and public manifests. And then uh, you become root, you stop Alama server. And this is a simple way to do it if it's it was started with the system control after the original installation. So you do system control stop Alama. And then you check for any other stray processes and you find the process IDs and you kill them. So then you remove a user share Alama directory and everything under it. You create a new directory, empty directory. All you need is this user share Alama dot Alama models. I tried uh, to go with dot Alama or Alama level and nothing that worked. This is the only way it actually worked for me. I changed it uh, to give uh, access to different users to this directory because this was created by root in the root uh, system environment. Then I do the mount, which I described earlier. And then I changed also permissions in this directory just in case. And one last thing to do is uh, to make sure that on reboot, uh, this mount will be recreated. I add this line into the file called slash etc slash fstub. Uh, note that here it says defaults comma bind. So we need bind, as I told you, this is important. Now, uh, if you need to change the Alama service file, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can go into the directory slash etc system d system, and then there'll be a file alama.service, which you can edit as root, like using sudo. And after that, you can start the service. You do sudo system control uh, daemon reload if you change the, the Alama service. Then you enable the service and you start uh, sudo system control start Alama. If you need to stop, you can use stop. If something doesn't work and Alama is not working, you can check it by running uh, Alama space list or you can just do ps command and check if Alama is running uh, as one of the processes. Anyway, so if it doesn't start, you can run command uh, journal control minus u alama. And this will give you a log and you will see 
the error messages and you'll be able to debug what's not working. Okay, now you can download and test different libraries. You, you go to Alam AI slash library and you see different models and there are instructions how to run them. So in my case, I ran these commands to load different models. Now, if I go into this directory and I check the size of this directory on the big drive, not system drive, is 76 gigabytes. You see, it's like twice more uh, than the size of system drive. And I just loaded just a few models and you can load much more and test them and compare them. Now, Alamo by default releases the memory after five minutes of inactivity. You can also switch to a smaller model, for example, just running run Alamo. Uh, uh, Alama run code Lama. This is uh, not right. Okay, this is it uh, for the slides. And I just want to show you here, I uh, ran a command uh, to, to, to load everything, right? And then I started Alama. So I am in this uh, directory. So let me write function. Yeah, it's, it's good. So let, let's start it. Oh, and uh, here it is, and uh, it works uh, perfectly, uh, as you can see. Now, if I do exit uh, from here, and I go uh, data, all llama, and I do disk usage minus sm star. So you see the largest file uh, directory is blobs. And that's where all the models are, and it's uh, 76 uh, gigabytes of models. Well, that's it for today. Thank you.